During the WooCommerce onboarding wizard, we set up shipping through USPS. Now, this is great if you're in the United States, but if you're not, well, that's problematic. And so we're going to talk about that. In this video, then, we're going to customize our shipping settings. We'll introduce you to a few other shipping methods that you also might be interested in using. So if you're not already in there, head over to WooCommerce and then click on Shipping. Go ahead, take a quick peek at it, and you can dismiss it if you need to. The main thing we're going to see here on this screen, of course, is the shipping zones. We have a zone here in the United States and a zone for anywhere else. So for instance, if you wanted to use FedEx for every country, you only need one shipping zone. If you want to use FedEx for international orders and USPS for domestic orders, for instance, and give users in your state the ability to pick an order in person, well, then you'll need three shipping zones. We already have domestic and international. Of course, it's US and everywhere else. So let's go ahead and add a shipping zone for local orders. It's really simple. Click on Add Shipping Zone. We just have a couple of things to do here. Let's go ahead and call this local. You can call it anything you want, of course. I live just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, in Indiana. So I just started typing Indiana, and it's going to allow me then to pick a zone. You can even limit to specific zip codes or postal codes, depending on where you live. For me, I'm just going to say Indiana, but go ahead, start typing a local zone for you and select one from the pop-up. Then let's click Add Shipping Method. You can add multiple shipping methods within this zone. Only customers in the zone will see them. This is one of the really great things about WooCommerce. Let's click Add a Shipping Method. And you'll see here I've got flat rate, free shipping, local pickup, or USPS, which is one of my configured services. So I'm going to say local pickup. Click Add Shipping Method. And add another one for USPS. The reason I need to add USPS, even though I already have it set for all of the United States, is because we're setting up this local zone. And as we read just a moment ago, if I don't choose a particular shipping method, then it won't show up if somebody's, for instance, from the state of Indiana. So I need to add that back in. So you should see something like this, again, with whatever local area that you used. One of the things we need to do, of course, is to actually save changes. Now, if your save changes is grayed out and you can't click it, just go ahead and rearrange these and you'll see that the save changes is now available to click. Go ahead and click on it because that's pretty important that we save our changes. All right, so we've created a shipping zone and added two shipping methods to it. You can do this as many times as you need, but because this can get really complex, just keep it to the minimum that you need. You can really get crazy here, but if you don't need to, well, probably a good idea not to. If you use USPS or some other shipping provider, you'll need to have a list of packages that your store uses. WooCommerce automatically tries to pack all of your items into the fewest number of boxes possible, then sends those boxes to the shipping provider for a quote. Of course, that's overridable, but out of the box, that's what WooCommerce does. For you to get accurate rates, you'll need to have accurate package sizes. Let's go ahead and click on Packages. And you should see a screen that looks like this. You may have some packages predefined. If you don't, that's all right. Click Add Package. And we're going to click on Service Package. And let's go ahead and select all of the USPS priority mailboxes and click Add Packages. This is going to go out to USPS and grab all of their standard boxes. These are purchasable from any USPS store. So if you are in the US and you're using USPS, you can go to your post office and buy these boxes, which is a huge time saver. Since Purpleville's mostly selling shirts, I'm going to see which USPS boxes work for me. You can look at the USPS website as well, of course, and just figure out what's going to work best. So honestly, t-shirts are pretty thin. It's really no best option here. So let's go ahead and click Add Package again. And we're going to add a custom package. Now, again, you'll want to check the USPS site 
in order to make sure this is correct. But I've already done that for you. Let's call this the Priority Mail Forever prepaid flat rate envelope. Those are, of course, available. We're going to give this a length of 12.2, a width of 9.25, and a height of 0.5 inches. That's the standard size of this particular envelope. The package weight is 5 ounces, and the max weight is 20 ounces. Thankfully, our t-shirts are less than that. Go ahead and click Add Package. And you'll see now here it's available to us, and, and we can edit it, of course, because it's a custom package. And so we're good to go. We've got our envelope set and ready. We've added it to our store. And as long as our products fit in the package, WooCommerce will automatically use it for us. All right, let's click Save Changes. If you saw an error message across the top, then probably what the problem is is that you didn't add dimensions and weight to your t-shirt products. Head over to WooCommerce status and click on WooCommerce services. And most likely you're seeing an error message here in the USPS area. If that's the case, just go back over to your products and make sure all of your shippable products have dimensions and a weight, and then that error should clear up by itself.